welcome to farming on the rock guys giving you a tour this morning of what we have in the garden at the minute so right here in our pot that's a green bean and our tomatoes are coming in lovely and around this side there's a cucumber in the same pot that has climbed all the way up my sweet sap tree the sweet sap is currently producing so many fruits some countries call this fruit sugar apple we call it sweet sap in this other pot we have um tomato and i'm trying onion in this tire right here not sure if you can see the baby onions and this is a scotch bonnet pepper right last time i shared this area we had callaloo in here and in the block pockets we had pak choy of planted tomatoes that right there is a yellow um, watermelon here is a row of red callaloo and a row of green color behind the rock right here is a sugar cane as i've started to joint excited for this this right here is a young sweet sap and it is starting to produce right here we have our pomegranate and it at present it has so many fruits on there this is one of my favorite fruit well it makes one of my favorite drinks it's right here in the rock and it's currently producing lovely big fruits this right here is my almond <laughs> so big my almond tree this is a guava plant that we have not yet producing any fruit but we're hopeful this is a I'm, I'm hoping it's a lemon we planted a lemon seed but um, citrus are not true to seed so let's wait and see uh, it flowered a couple months ago but none of the fruits stayed on the plant so yeah it's right there in the rock right here lovely plant i have a sour sop right here next to the almond is this sour sop and next to the sour sop is our cherry a cherry tree right here we have our peppermint in this raised bed that my husband built so we can make our fresh peppermint tea now right at the entryway to our main garden area is this mango and there are so many on there i have some containers that i'm going to use to expand my garden there's a sweet pepper in this container it's starting to produce my green beans running green beans and more green beans on the right there's a regular string bean and i have tires here with this is cabbage that one is tomato and up there is seedlings callaloo seedlings right here I have turnip and it is starting to produce well that one is ready for harvesting and there are more little ones in there and these are my okra fans we've gotten a, quite a few off of them so far this is my cherry tomato and they're so so sweet Sunny's this the thing on it it's the chlorine from the tap water that i used to water it and 
in here I have some red callaloo seedlings as well as some the first tomato that I got I sowed the seed and they're coming up right there next to it I have some two red cabbages right here and this is a tomato that I have in a bucket here I have some aloe vera and those are my garlic coming up that's pop choy in that tire right there and this is chocolate scotch bonnet pepper I have some tomatoes in this crate and a lone pak choy another tomato here in this bucket and these are the most gorgeous sweet peppers they are huge the camera is not doing them justice they are massive sweet peppers in this tile right here so nice and in this tile next to my little sprinkler is a tomato and those are basil coming up there are so many green beans on this plant to be harvested so so many these need to come out before they get hard nobody likes them when they the seeds get hard all right on this side more green beans are there this is a tomato volunteer plant and i'm keeping it hot peppers tomato another bok choy and my red cabbage it's making a huge head right here it's lovely i have turnips in here that one seed ready and in here i have some carrots struggling and i'm not giving up on them this is just a weed i got carrots coming my sorrel here these are um, cucumbers they're old but they're still producing there's still baby cucumbers on them still producing quite a few there's one around there and this is a lone red color loo right here I have some um, red color loo coming in this tire right here I need to plant some more because the Sun burnt some of them here I have beetroot and these I'm going to harvest today I'll share a video with um, some clippings with the harvesting because these are huge they need to be harvested in another tire here I have some as well they need to come out now and there's pak choy in that one right here I have tomatoes most of those I'm going to harvest today as well right here I have some uh, bell pepper or sweet pepper that I planted with beans and they're starting to produce but there I have hot pepper oh and here just b beside the mango is a sour sop that is coming up nicely right there and right the hot pepper and there is a melon grass right there those are scallion and here is another thing with scallion tie with scallion and my tomatoes behind there in those three buckets all of those red ones are coming out today I have in this tire some kale and over here I have some okra and one cabbage in right there and these I have sweet peppers these containers here and a volunteer tomato that I'm keeping because I'm not sure what variety it is in these I have some onion coming in these small containers and back here this is another volunteer tomato and that's chocho going up I'm wanting it to go on that um, tree right there this is my another pomegranate and it, it has fruit starting to fruit I have some pak choy here and here 
I am trying to um, propagate a peppermint. I'm not sure if it's going to come on this trellis. I had, but I still have a cantaloupe. The, the worms kill the others. But it's springing back, so I'm hoping I'll get more food from it. There's a lone cantaloupe. And in my sink here, my pak choy are coming up nicely and the seedlings are doing well here as well. I'm coming my love and that's my little helper right there. Look at him. Hi buddy. Yes. Thank you for helping. These are cauliflower or broccoli. I'm not sure which one. And these little things are my cilantro. That's one red cabbage there and some broccoli or cauliflower. I'm not sure which is which. If that's broccoli, this is cauliflower. And if this is um, broccoli, that's cauliflower. I just, I'm not sure. I just have to wait until they produce. Yeah. Hey, buddy. Yeah. yeah. Are you helping me? Huh? Do you love the garden? Sure do. These beetroot in the tub, they're coming so quickly. Look how lovely they are. Just the other day, they were tiny little plants. And my slicing tomatoes, my salads, they're coming up nicely. And my sweet pepper right there. Right here, I have a, a slicing tomato in this bucket. It's starting to... to the they are going to be huge. Let me show you what they are going to look like. I think these are the same variety. These right here. They are huge. I'm not sure how to describe the size. of the. They are like grapefruit. The size of grapefruit. Look how small these are compared to these right here. <laughs> hey buddy. Hey love. What are you doing? Okay. Yes. Yes, baby. On this side right here, I have the um, carrots. They are get, they are growing just as quickly as the beetroot. Just as quickly. Right here is another hot pepper, yellow scotch bonnet pepper, and in this container, um, those actually I have totally taken over in this bucket I have sweet peppers and beans I realize they do well together so I put a few beans with the sweet peppers and here I have um, cucumber because those over that side they are getting old so I'm put I put new one here to replace them so I always have cucumber here is a lovely patch of sweet peppers i was wondering if they were going to produce because of how closely they are planted but they're not disappointing they are producing like crazy right now that is a watermelon regular red watermelon and that's a yellow watermelon right there that's cantaloupe that is honeydew that I planted to go up on this um, thing right here. It is producing, but the worm, the worms did the vine bad. But there are a few little ones that are holding on to faith. And this was the first one on this vine. It looks as though it's about to ripen. This is a volunteer tomato right here. And that's my row of hot peppers brown red yellow green hot peppers in this tire here i have a broccoli or cauliflower and green cabbages i'm trying with those the beads are taking over my garden um two red cabbages there and cauliflower i'm gonna call that one here i have a row of buckets with Pak choy and that's my those are two different pumpkin varieties I'm gonna show you one of the fruits in a bit right here is my corn and I'm gonna 
I think I'm going to harvest most of these today because they're ready and I don't want them to get hard. I think I'm going to harvest those. They're about three months. So it's about 90 days since I've planted these. Did, did, did the thing touch my baby? It did. It did? Oh no. And my and that ginger. And at the minute, there is one coming up right there. I'm happy. Another one of my peppers right here on the rock. And this is a better view of what the pumpkin vines look like. Coming from right down where the sweet peppers are. And this is the, the one that started to produce. I don't know what variety of pumpkin it is. If anyone knows, please tell me. Right, there is the fruit. And there are other fruits next to the neighbor's fence. Here, that's one right there. I'm not sure this one is this one. I'm not seeing anything on this one yet, but it will produce. We have a lot of sun and pumpkin loves the sun. Okay, guys, I didn't get the opportunity to video when I just started the garden, but this is something, but something like um, what it was like before. So I'm, I'm expanding the garden here on this. Is what what I'm gonna use for the bottles that I showed you in the beginning of the video so this is what our property looks like it's all rock there's absolutely no soil so I'm now preparing these tires to expand the garden up for the seedlings that I have coming it's no easy feat guys this is my orange and this is my this is my well, as I was saying, this is the orange and my husband's irrigation system. Alright, so when we turn on the sprinkler, the water comes up, fills up this jug, and um, slowly waters the plant throughout the days. Alright, I believe this is a lime. So what I'm going to do, I place this tire over it, I'm going to fill it in with mulch and um, some chicken manure and bring it back to life I'll show you once it's rejuvenated thank you thank you so much for following me on my journey with my little garden on the rock I appreciate you guys kindly consider subscribing to my channel to help it grow and um, like and also drop a comment all right i'm out thank you